Hello, and welcome to a very brief tutorial on how to get a combination of the R2 Modman and some of our fantastic T4C painted minis. Quickly show you what I'm talking about. Let's have a look over here. Now, uh, you can see this is a uh, thing that you may be familiar with if you've watched my streams more than once. Uh, this is the um, Tailspire Thunderstore Mod Central kind of area. This is how you get all of the basic mods that you need to be able to run Tailspire effectively. The first thing we have to do is install R2 Modman. R2 Modman is found uh, over here in this little R here. You click that, you go and get it, and what that will do after you've installed it is give you a little app like this. There's the R2 Mod Man right here. When you have this app, I've got a uh, example profile here called Steam Demo, but you'll actually have, you know, uh, it'll probably say default by default. Uh, you go in here, you'll see there's absolutely nothing here, right? So you, you're basically going to want to get the Fourth Culture Mini Pack. Now, what is the Fourth Culture Mini Pack? I hear you ask. Right. So the Fourth Culture Mini Pack, as you can see over here, is a series of miniatures. I'll be releasing a bunch of these miniatures over time. They have been um, originally sculpted by MZ4250, who's this sort of awesome person on the internet with a great Patreon. You should go look him up, um, or, or them up. I don't know if it's uh, what gender they uh, assign themselves, but um, from a practical perspective, they build and sculpt these amazing models. And what I've done is taken those models as a basis and imported them into Blender, and I have painted them. So as a result of that, I'm repackaging them. They're all under the Creative Commons 4 license. And I'm repackaging them as this. So we have, for example, uh, a spell jammer ship here, uh, which I am uh, uh, jokingly referred to as James the Jammer. Um, then below this, we have a, uh, a, a night walker called Nigel, um, as you can see here, painted, and you can see in situ in an example of, uh, of where it is. And then finally, and I don't believe I put this here, is going to be a Tarask, which is the green and purple Tarask that exists in some of the other mods known as Tara the Trask. The instructions are right here below. So you go to talespire.thunderstore.io and you'll be able to get all of the stuff that you need from right there. So you go there, it's, um, uh, you get Tailspire Thunderstore, you install RT Modman, you install Tailspire via Steam, and then you get the package as I showed you just a second ago. How do I do that? You said, in the online section here, you will go and click this download button. It'll download with dependencies. There aren't actually any dependencies on this package. And now you can see under installed, there it is. That's easy. Well, not quite. There is one thing you need to have to make that work. And one thing you need to have to make that work is actually a particular plugin. It is called the Extra Asset Registration Plugin. Normally, I add that into the module, but I'm moving away from that. I think that's probably not the right thing to do. OK, there we go. So that's been added to. So now you have it right there. You've installed Extra Assets. Uh, right here. It's added all the dependencies that it needs to work, including BIPIN, XPAC, a bunch of other things like that. You'll then be able to view all the associated files if you need to. If you want to do that, under the config editor here, so under the sorry, settings here, you go to the profile folder. That will bring up that profile folder for you in on your machine. Bring it over here. You look if you take a look at this uh, profile folder under the BIPIN X plugins. And you can see here are the plugins that I have basically installed. Uh, specifically, the Fourth Culture Mini Pack, within which is all of the stuff you'd expect to see, minis, and then there you go, James and the Nightwalker and Tara. Why are you doing all this? Why bother? Well, it's so that when you do actually go back into RT Modman over here, and you hit Start Modded, and you run your Tailspire instance, the way you know it's working is one of these appears, and it takes a moment going, hello, how are you? I'm going to do some things. Then your Tailspire will start up, and you'll see in the top left corner of your Tailspire, there'll be a little status message that says, yes, I'm running in modded mode. So you know what's happening. There it is. Ta-da! So uh, you can see in the top, the extra injection flag plugin and uh, TMC's extra asset library. So then you begin. Uh, we're just going to use a new campaign. I'm going to call this test. So in our test campaign, here you go, play. So we go into our test campaign and then you can see there's a blank board here. Uh, we are going to hit space to open the menu at the bottom. And if we take a look at the creature uh, uh, section over here, scroll our way down, you see there is a little folder called the fourth culture where you can find a Nigel. So we grab a Nigel, pop him on the table. There we go, that's a Nigel. Have a look at that, isn't that wonderful? There's a Nigel looking really rather snaz and a bit uh, terrifying. Another example is if you wanted to get James the Jammer. You'd grab him from over here, you pop him over there, and there you go, Spell Jammer, away you here. So there we are. 
There's our spell gemma right there. Fantastic. The thing to note is even though you can make the spell jammer fly, unfortunately we haven't figured out the physics just yet to be able to do anything other than that. So let's have a look. Where's the flying gone? Sorry. Uh, let's fly, fly, fly. There we go. Perfect. So flying looks great. Isn't that wonderful? And in fact, even now with the um, the new Tailspire vertical fog mechanic, you can give it some atmospheric fog so it all looks like you're up in the sky. Look at that. Isn't that cool? Right? So flying away in my beautiful spell jammer. But you are not able to, unfortunately, as yet, have things stand on the deck. Uh, that's because it doesn't really have any collision physics. So instead what you do to get that effect is you will have your model fly and then we will just, there you go. Now there is uh, Nigel stood on the deck of the, the spell jammer as it flies its way around the world. Uh, how remarkable is that? Uh, obviously not perfect. And when we get that collision physics working, it'll be even better. But until then, that is how you get through the fourth culture mini bundle into Tailspire uh, with Nigel, the Nightwalker, and uh, Tara the Trask, and James the Spelljammer. Thank you very much. Cheers. You can catch us on the fourth culture every Monday and Thursday evenings at 7 p.m. Uh, we play Dungeons and Dragons and Vampire the Masquerade uh, in two separate campaigns. Additionally, uh, if you take a moment and look down there, you'll be able to hit the follow or the subscribe button to be able to show your support for us. It really means a lot when you do. It's a sign that actually, you know, you've enjoyed watching this video. You are uh, getting some value out of the things we do. And so it means a lot to us if you do it. It also means a lot to the algos, which will mean that you're more likely to see our content and you're more likely to get the kind of fun stuff that you want so uh it's a win so please do it finally i'd like to invite you all to come to our discord we have an amazing discord community if you go to discord.gg slash t4c or if you look down there you'll see a link to our discord either way works uh you can come and hang out with people from all around the world who all have a very common set of things that bind them together which they love uh, a pretty cool environment and they like to hang out with people who like dungeons and dragons or like vampire the masquerade and are into things like modeling and you know role-playing games in general and are a pretty cool multicultural kind of bunch so if that's the kind of thing you're after come hang out on discord if not anyway thanks for watching this video see you soon